Hello class, in this video, I will be discussing module 7, Fluid Mechanics. Okay, so uh, in this video, all of my discussion will be based on University Physics with Modern Physics 14th edition by Young and Friedman. So, ang fluid mechanics, meron tayong two types. Meron tayong fluid statics saka fluid dynamics. When we say statics, uh, ito yung study ng fluid at rest in equilibrium situation. So, yung fluid natin is at rest. Kapag fluid dynamics naman, the, f the study of fluid in motion. When we say fluid, it is any substance that can flow and change the shape of the volume that it occupies. So, pasok dito is yung gas at saka liquid forms ng matter. Okay? Kasi sabi niya, any substance that can flow. Nagpa-flow ba yung gas? Yes. Nagpa-flow ang liquid? Yes. And can change the shape of the volume that it occupies. Okay? Pareha silang uh, kayang mag-change ng shape. Okay? So, ayan. Uh, one of, two of the most important properties of fluid is density and specific gravity. When we say density, it is defined as mass per unit volume, okay? And then, pag specific gravity naman, it is the ratio of its density to the density of water at 4 degrees Celsius, 1,000 kg per meter cube, okay? Ang specific gravity, tandaan nyo guys, ay unitless, okay? Ito ay ratio, at ang density naman ay mass per volume, okay? So, ayan. Example number one, find the mass and weight of the air at 20 degrees Celsius in a living room with a 4 by 5 meter floor and a ceiling of 3 meter high. Okay. And the mass and weight of an equal volume of water. So, meron tayong uh, density is mass over volume. At ang hinahanap natin dito is mass, meron tayong given na volume that is 4 by 5 by 3. Okay? Ang density ng air at 20 degrees Celsius is 1.20 kilogram per meter cube. Okay? So, meron din tayong given na density. So, 1.20 kilogram per meter cube is equivalent to mass over volume na 4. 4.0 m times 5.0 m times 3.0 meters. Okay? So, ang mass natin ay equivalent sa 1.2 times 4 times 5 times 3. Okay? 72. Okay? 72 kilogram per uh, kilogram rather, 72 kilogram. Okay. Yan yung mass natin. At ang weight natin syempre is 72 kilogram times gravity 9.8 meter per second squared. Okay. So, ang weight natin ay 9.8 706 Okay. 706 newton. So, ayan. That is how you answer example number 1. And then, um, ito ay kapag era and the mass and weight of an equal volume of water. So, kapag water naman siya, ang density ng water ay 1,000 kg per meter cube. So, pagkukunin natin yung mass, that is uh, rho V. Mass is equals to 1,000 kg per meter cube times 4 times 5 times 3 okay so ang mass natin is uh, 1000 times 4 times 5 times 3 that is equivalent sa 6000 okay uh, 60,000 60,000 kilogram and then ang weight natin is 60,000 times 9.8 so, ang weight natin is 58.8 or 5.9 times 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
raised to 5, okay? 5.9 times 10 raised to 5 newton, okay? So, that is how you answer example number 1. Now, meron din tayong tinatawag na pressure in a fluid. A fluid exerts, wala yung calculator na. A fluid exerts a force perpendicular to any surface in contact with it, such as a container wall or, or a body immersed in the fluid. Okay, so meron tayong tinatawag na pressure in a fluid. Ayan. That, that is equivalent to, ito yung pressure difference. Kung ito yung 1 natin at ito yung 2, P2 minus P1 is equivalent to negative rho G Y2 minus Y1. Okay, kapag pressure at depth in a fluid, ito, ah, uh, P is equals to PO, pressure at the surface of the fluid, plus rho GH. So, ganito hinahanap yan. So, for example, ayan. For example, eto yung P1 natin. Eto yung P2. Okay? So, uh, tandaan nyo na ang pressure ay equivalent sa rho G Y or rho GH. Okay? So, eto, uh, P1 okay, P1 plus rho G Y1 is equals to P2 okay plus rho G Y2 okay, ganyan siya okay so, kapag nilipat natin to sa kabila, magiging ah uh, P1 minus P2 is equivalent to rho G Y2 minus rho G Y1, okay? And then, P1 minus P2 is equivalent to rho G Y2 minus Y1, okay? Pero ito kasi, P2 minus P1 yung given niya. So, pag binaliktad natin to P2 minus P1, ito ay magiging negative rho G Y2 minus Y1, okay? So, ganun lang siya. So, ganun lang din kapag, uh, halimbawa, itong fluid natin is open sa surface, okay? Ito is open sa surface, nakabukas. So, meron tayong atmospheric pressure na tinatawag. So, para mahanap natin to P is equals to um, rho GH plus PO. Ayan. Ito kasi yung fluid rho GH or rho GY rho GY plus PO. O, ito pressure na to. So, dito nang galing yan. Okay? So, uh, tandaan nyo lang yung formula at mas mapapadali. So, example number 2. In example 1, what is the total downward force on the floor due to an air pressure of ATM? Ano ba ang pressure, di ba, that is force over area? Tama ba? So, force is equivalent sa PA. Meron tayong pressure na given that is 1 ATM. Okay times area ng floor na 4 times uh, 4 by 5 okay 4 by 5 4 times 5 okay ang 1 atm ay equivalent 1 atm ay equivalent sa 101325 uh, pascal ang pascal ay equivalent sa newton per meter squared okay so 101325 Newton meter squared times 4.0 meter times 5.0 meter. So, cancel yung meter. Okay. So, 101.325 times 4 times 5. So, that is equivalent sa 2.0 uh, times 10 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 10 raised to 6 newton. Okay. So, that this is our final answer. Okay. So, let's proceed. Let's proceed to the next example number 3. 
Water stands 12 meter deep in a storage tank whose top is open to the atmosphere. So, meron tayong storage tank. Okay. 12 meter deep daw siya. Okay. Open to the atmosphere. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong atmospheric pressure. What are the absolute and gauge pressure at the bottom of the tank? Ay nahanap is ito. P2. Kapag uh, kinuha natin yung gauge pressure, ibig sabihin, wala tayong Uh, atmospheric pressure. Okay? So, paano natin makukuha? Parang kanina lang, P2 is equals to, eto, rho GH. So, P2 is equals to 1,000, sabi niya, water, kilogram per meter cube, times 9.80 meter per second squared, times height na 12.0 meter. Okay? So, P2 is equivalent sa 1,000 times 9.8 times 12. Okay. That is 1171 Newton per Newton per meter squared. Okay. Or pwede natin siyang isulat as uh, 118 times 10 raised to 3 Newton per meter squared or 118 times 10 raised to 3 Pascal. Okay? So, next is kapag meron naman siyang uh, pag absolute naman siya so, dagdag natin yung atmospheric pressure. Pag ganon. So, P2 is equals to rho GH plus atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure natin is 101325. So, 11760 Newton per meter squared plus 101325 Newton per meter squared equals 101325 point okay 219 times 10 raised to 3 Pascal okay so that is our final answer